It's September, which means it's Apple event time. There's going to be new phones and of course they'll roll out an iOS for the public. Now, I've been using the XS Max with the iOS 13 beta for quite some time and here are some of our favorite features that are quite useful. First and foremost, the most exciting feature that I'm excited about is the dark mode. What? This feature is pleasing to the eye while watching movies in the dark, but it also saves a lot of battery life. The dark mode on iOS 13 can either be triggered manually from the control center like this, or you can schedule it. It also comes with a host of wallpapers which change their theme according to light or dark mode. One of the things that I hated about the last iOS is the large translucent volume bar that sits smack in the middle of the display. It just killed the whole video watching experience, to be honest. Thankfully, on iOS 13, Apple has finally fixed it with a better, more modern looking UI, which is highly functional, minimal, and non obtrusive. Talking about things that I hated in the past, VPNs would break connection if you lost your Wi-Fi signal or even your cellular signal and you had to manually enable it back on. Again, in iOS 13, this is fixed. If I create a hotspot on my iPhone and the phone goes to sleep, the connection is still stable, but it's still in beta version now, so let's see how it performs after a stable release. Another feature that I really love in the new iOS 13 is the fact that you can connect two different AirPods to the same phone. That way, you and your buddy can watch movies or listen to music at the same time. This comes in handy when you're on a plane or if you have a good movie on on your phone that you would like to share it with your significant other. And not just that, if you have a second gen AirPods, you can read incoming messages as soon as they arrive from messages. So I've got two home Wi-Fi connections. One of them is for good general browsing and coverage, but the other one has high-speed internet for streaming Netflix and stuff. And thankfully, I can now easily force touch on the Wi-Fi icon to select which network or device I want to connect with, without having to go to the settings page to switch to my Wi-Fi network, which saves a lot of time. This is probably one of my favorite features because I play a ton of PS4 games and I seldom play iPhone games as well. I use the PS4 controller or even an Xbox one with my iPhone XS. It's even going to support Apple TV, which is awesome because I was going to buy a SteelSeries controller. I tried a few games with a DualShock controller on my iPhone running iOS 13 and it works flawlessly even now. Try it out. You might already know this by now, but I'm not the most careful guy in the world because I'm named Bamsey for a reason after all. I've lost my AirPods and my iPhone some time, but only to find them later on, an hour or two later, under my pillow. Thankfully, from iOS 13 onwards, you can find the location of an offline iOS device. Yes, even if there's no internet. So say if you're not able to find your phone. As soon as your user puts their device on lost mode, it'll turn on its Bluetooth and look for nearby iOS devices. If it detects one, the nearby device will be used to ping the lost device location to its owner. Now it's not foolproof, meaning that if the thief turns off your Bluetooth by enabling airplane mode, then it won't work. But at least you'll be able to find your lost phones easily now. Overall, there are many new awesome features that we'll see in iOS 13, but these were some of the best ones that we are really excited about. Let me know in the comment section below which one's your favorite. We'll have a new iPhone 11 out pretty soon. Let me know if you won a giveaway just like we did last time, because we're really nice like that. You guys loved it the last time, you will love it this time as well. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.